So now the pitfalls. The reality is they do need covering in far more depth than a 60 second video. In fact, you can find a great webinar on the subject on our website that's definitely worth watching. However, to summarize, the first pitfall and the main pitfall in my opinion is a lack of liquidity. If you require or could require your money instantaneously, then property is not for you. With most other investments, whether that be savings accounts, stock, shares, ISAs, you can access your money straight away. With property, you can't. You're of course waiting for the property to sell and of course solicitors to exchange and potentially complete. The second pitfall is that you don't factor in all of the costs. These can be insurance costs, stamp duty, service charge, ground rent, mortgage and lettings fees, etc. So before purchasing, make sure you've got a real good grip on not only the fees that you pay up front, but ongoing fees also. Bad tenants, of course, is the third pitfall. If you get a tenant who doesn't pay or worse still remains in the property, it can cause havoc on your finances. And the fourth pitfall is you don't factor in interest rate changes. If you're paying 2% now, and you're comfortable with that, but the interest rate changes to 4%, before you know it, you're gonna be paying double the amount of interest that you're currently paying. Now, of course, there are other pitfalls, and hence why you always have to use a qualified broker, educate yourself, and then dive in once you're comfortable.